Commodities together this year up 10.5% until late April. Today we are down by about the same. We are flat. Blame agriculture, it was up 21%, now we're at a four year low. Soybeans, the biggest faller this week. Ola Hansen, give me a trade. If we look at the, uh, the performance uh, recently, we've seen uh, quite a big drop in soybeans. Uh, that drop actually could continue because the, uh, the outlook for a record and bumper crop this uh, autumn in the US is uh, adding some pressure from farmers needing to sell their crop and also financial traders who want to uh, join on the short side. So I think soybeans at the moment is, is, is a potential good sell, either on, on any, any, any uh, small bounce because obviously it has fallen quite a bit, or maybe just look at a, at, at a relative trade to corn because corn seems to be stabilizing because the outlook for demand is, is quite strong for corn. So you know we have a big crop, there's a uh, the price is stabilized. So I'll probably look to sell soybeans uh, against buying corn. Crude oil and Brent dropped to a 13 month low this week while WTI hit levels not seen since February. Stay short, says Ola, for now. We've seen a dramatic shift in, uh, in, in crude oil sentiment in just a matter of weeks. We've gone from supply worries to supply, uh, to ample supplies. How's that going to play out over the coming weeks? Well, at the moment, negative momentum is really, uh, is, is really a strong factor there. We're seeing Brent crude and WTI coming lower. It probably could come lower still. Um, just be a little bit aware that the uh, RSI is a bit oversold now, so there could be a bounce. We could see a bit of uh, maybe consolidation in the, in the coming week, but any, any pickup in price at the moment looks like a sell. Also be aware that Brent crude currently around the 1 or 250 area is getting close to 100. It's a big line in the sand for Saudi Arabia. Will we see any kind of response from OPEC as we get closer in terms of reducing production? So uh, a lot of things to keep an eye on next week. As for gold, still range bound, but there could be gains in the next few days. It's all relative though. Well, you can argue at the moment that gold is actually safe haven because everything else is, uh, is, has uh, seen increased volatility. Other commodities are, are falling quite a bit. Precious metals were actually small up uh, over the past week and uh, gold is, is, is one of those uh, holding, holding it up. We're currently stuck in a range between 12.95 and uh, 13.25. We really need to see a break either side to, to gather some momentum. I probably favor the upside because uh, we still have some geopolitical worries uh, multiple places. At the same time, we're seeing bond yields in the US continue to drop. In Europe, we've just seen the German 10 years, 10 year yield reach 1%. As bond yields are lowering and inflation expectation doesn't change, the real yield comes down as well. It means that the, uh, the cost of holding gold goes down.